Good morning children. Today is the first day of your class 11. Therefore, first of all, I would like to welcome you to class 11. And today we will be starting with one poem. This is the first poem of Hornbill. The name of the textbook is Hornbill. My dear children, now do you know what is a Hornbill? So Hornbill there is a festival also that is celebrated in Nagaland, in Kohima. The name of the, the festival is a Hornwheel Festival. So, what is the occasion? What is the, the occasion? The occasion is to preserve the endangered birds. Therefore, we will be starting with the, this uh, first lesson, a photograph. So, let us uh, start with so as you have seen this is the photograph okay these are the photograph you have seen so in the, the photograph what you, uh, what you could uh, see in this uh, photograph there are three girls and in the middle one there is uh, the, the bigger girl and this uh, bigger girl the this uh, uh, bigger girl is uh, surrounded uh, by these are two small girls. In our poem, the poem that we are going to do start with is also named as photograph. And here also we will find how many characters. We could see there are three characters. And another character is there of course. That is the uncle. And uncle is there in the background. And he is not seen in the photograph because he is the photographer. My dear children, so when we see a particular photograph, what are the feelings? What are the feelings that flood into our mind? That comes to our mind? So certainly the feelings that is related to related to the past. Suppose you are taking a photograph today in order to make it permanent, in order to make it permanent in your memory, what you do? You make the photograph or the particular occasion, particular event, particular special moment of your life so that you can remember it in the times to come. That becomes a part of the, the history of your life. Now, when you look at uh, this uh, particular photograph, then host of imaginations, so host of memories comes. And this, uh, particularly this memory is the memory of the past. You are transported in the wings of imagination. You are transported into the world of the past where you were a small kid, where a small teen, or you are a small baby. Therefore, this uh, photograph is a particular media by which uh, we can make the, the memory lasting or permanent. Therefore, we will be starting with uh, this particular poem. The name of the, the poem is uh, Photograph. Let us uh, see the, the poem. The name of the, the poem is Photograph. So, I will read out this poem first and after the reading out of the poem, so in a systematic manner, I will be telling you about the objective of the lesson. I will be telling you about the importance of the title. I will be telling you about the theme of the lesson. I will be giving you a brief introduction to the lesson and then I will make a systematic analysis of the poem with the difficult words and their meaning. I will also be telling with some poetic devices, some poetic devices which are also called the figure or speech. Then finally we will analyze the questions and answer. Particularly, we will be discussing the extract question. Means uh, this will be 
kind of the, the sin passes sin passes uh, for you this type of question will come in your examination also and while you are reading the, the particular poem poem actually is a very enjoyable and while you are reading the, the poem we should understand the melody of the, the poem we should understand the rhyme if any we should understand the rhythm if there is any assonance if, if there is any alliteration if there is any consonance all these are my dear children related to the sound of the, the poem and these are very interesting business therefore we will proceed to the model reading of the, the poem and in this uh, poem we will uh, see there are three stanzas only there are three stanzas and this is a pattern of the stanzas there are three stanzas and this is three stanzas stanza number one stanza number two and stanza number three so in the first stanza you notice how many lines are there three six eight nine in the first stanza there are nine lines in the second stanza how many lines are there four six only six lines are there in the last stanza means stanza number three how many how many lines are there there are only four lines that means in total how many lines are there 15 19 19 lines are there so this is also another way of remembering the poem and more particularly I tell you one thing memorizing also is very important so in this particular age we discuss memorizing but some of the poems and some of the lines are the course when you remember suppose you are giving your lecture you are delivering a lecture when you are you can quote the lines from the, the poem there are two benefits out of it number one your memory is tested your memory is tested number two is uh, that you can you can revive your memory therefore it is a better that uh, we, we memorize these uh, things also so uh, <clears throat> my dear children so when you are talking about the poem so it is a better to know the poems are written in free verse f r double e free verse free verse and poems are written with rhyme when there is a rhyme there is there is the similarity of the sound of the terminal or the last words when there is a no similarity of the, the sound of the terminal or the last words of the successive line of the, the poem then we used to call it the free verse. Verse means the poem. Therefore, particularly the modern poems, the modern poems are free verse. Free verse. It uh, looks like the prose also. And this uh, poem too is a is a free verse. It is written in free verse. Therefore, there will be no rhyme here. So let me read out the poem so you see the poem how to read it you see the intonation you see the pronunciation and you try to enjoy the reading of the poem because these days reading is the particular habit that is given the uttermost importance the greatest importance why because why because when you read then only you begin to think when you think then you begin to imagine when you imagine then creativity comes therefore in order to bring the creativity into the fore into the into into the into our stage reading has no alternative 
let us go for reading the curve cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins when paddling when paddling full stop is there i'm putting the full stop here each one holding one of my mother's hand and she the big girl some 20 years or so and all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncles with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the sea which appeared to have a changed lace was their terribly transient feet this is the first danger is over here some 20 30 years later I should laugh at the sniff shot see betty and dolly should see and look how they dressed us for the beach the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter both right with the lever ease of loss then let us continue lever is a loss now she has been date nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance of this circumstance of the, this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it is silence it's silence silences charlie tells him so this is the poem in brief there are three strains and this is three strains my dear children this actually refers to the three different stages of life so here you see the three stages of life let us uh, continue now in first stage second stage and third stage let us uh, make the, the analysis before we go to the in depth study before we go to the elaborate explanation of the, the point in the first one you will uh, see that there is a card there is a cardboard means there is a photo frame in the photo frame what we can see we can see some photos and these are photos are particularly are the photos of the first and here we can see the the child and the bigger one who was in the middle was only 12 years old only 12 years old that means this actually refers to the spring of the mother the spring of the, the mother means the childhood the childhood of the, the mother so that the childhood of the, the mother is revived into the memory of the poetess the name of the, the poetess is Sally Tulson so as soon as Sally Tulson the, the poetess look at the photograph a host of imagination and feelings come or floods back into the memory and the first stranger talks about the childhood when there is a sea holiday when there is a sea holiday where the children go to the beach in order to enjoy the holiday and some people some some elderly people or or the elders escort the children so here also we can see that there is a escort into the form of the, the form of the uncle and uncle was carrying also a a camera and he was a taking the snapshot when all the, the all the, the children that is all the, the three children were very 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 happy they were very joyous they were they their happiness knew no limit that means the first stanza actually talk about the child and after that into the second stanza you will see that another stage so, so we are talking about the time okay the 
the different time the different time so this one the first danger it talks about the past the past or the mother mother of the poetess the second one it talks about talks about the time after 20 or 30 years later after 20 or 30 years later so she was a, she was a sharing this photo she was a, she was after seeing this a photo she was telling these are two the children to the to the poetess poetess and she begin to love that means that this also this also referred to another past time another past time and this past was the the present of the, the poetess the present of the poetess present of the poetess And the last one you will see, you can notice here in the last stanza that this stanza actually talks about the death of the the death of the mother of the, the poet is. So it is a very disappointing, very disappointing. She remembers or recollect the pure recollection of the, the past, pure memory of the, the past after seeing the photograph and after seeing this uh, photograph in the essence of the, the mother the life seems to be very dull therefore the poet is become disappointed in the end so there are three uh, different stages uh, the past and then the, the present uh, present the, the second stranger and in the, the third third it uh, talks about the present time it talks about the present impact the present impact so i uh, will see the explanation now we'll uh, see the explanation now let us uh, go for the explanation so here you go And before the explanation, so what we decided, we decided to talk about the, the title of the, the poem. The title of the, the poem. The title is photograph. So let me uh, see how this uh, title is appropriate and what this uh, title actually indicate. Whether this title is indicative of the theme or the central idea or the message of the lesson or not. Let us continue. Here you go. The title of the poem, a photograph, is uh, composed in blank words. Its a title is uh, very much appropriate as it uh, remains to the poet of her mother. A photograph is uh, something that captures a certain moment of someone's life that the person might change in course of time, but the memories attached to the photograph are eternal. eternal. Uh, so let us uh, see this part. So we are talking about the photograph. Photo. Yeah. This uh, poem talks about the, the photograph, the photograph of the, the mother. After seeing the, the photograph, the what what exactly comes? The memory of the mother comes. The memory of the, the mother comes. It uh, comes back to, to the, the poets. Now, the mother is no more. The mother already, already has departed. The mother already has left the stage of life. That means human life is a very temporary. Human life is very temporary. Man's life is a very temporary in this world. Man's life. Man's life is very temporary here in this life. But uh, what is in, what is uh, what is permanent is the memory. Memory is the permanent, and that is uh, what the poem. This uh, poem is going to tell. Let us continue. In this uh, poem, the poet's mother is uh, no more. He's he's no more. 
he has already expired. But the photographs that make her memories come alive. But as soon as the photograph is seen on the cupboard, the memory become very life. The mother's sweet face or her cousins heavily dressed up for the beach have all changed with the time but the moment captured in the photograph still gives happiness to the poet's mother when she views it 20 or 30 years later. So now time changes. As time changes after 20 or 30 years after, when the poet see the poet's mother see the see the photograph, then it gives her the immense pleasure after seeing this, and then she make fun of the photo. Means laugh at the photo because because of the manner in which they were dressed, especially for the occasion of the of the the sea holiday. The poet reminisces that the sea holiday was passed for her mother and for her the laughter of her mother is past now. Now two things are past. One, what are the two things that are past? For the, the mother, it is the, the sea holiday. One for the, the mother and another for the poetess. So for the mother, what is, uh, what is past? The sea holiday. For the poetess, so what is the what is the, the past? The, the laughter of the, the mother. Both the moments of life have been permanently its in the, the poet's mind with a feeling of eternal loss. So both these are things, the mother existence of the, the mother and the, the laughter of the, the mother, they are already permanently lost and therefore there is a sense of loss that is depicted in the poem. Now let us uh, go, let us uh, go now. Uh, so let us uh, continue. Death now has overpowered the innocence of this uh, moment and the pleasure they result. The poet concludes the poem on a melancholy note. With the, with the comment that there is nothing to say or comment on this sad event, the silence seems to silence all the other thoughts. You see this lines, very interesting lines. Death is over powerful, okay? Death actually spares nobody, means nobody, either the king or the queen, the subject or the or the royal people, nobody is escaped from death. The mother also could not escape and because of the, the date, the innocence of this particular moment of the, the past is a now, is a now. Therefore, the poet actually ends with a sad note, melancholy note means a sad note. With a sad note, the poem ends. So, when somebody, somebody asks the poet is to give a reference or to give a comment on this particular 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 moment, particular occasion, then she was telling that silence seems to silence all the other thought. Means it is the silence which is personified and that seem to silence make other thing, other thought very silent. Let us approach it to the poem, explanation of the poem now. Here we go. Before starting the explanation, so it is a better that we see main, some main points, understanding the lesson, lesson through some key sentences. When we understand some key sentences, then our understanding of the poem will be better. Therefore, in the form of the prose or in the form of some key points, main points, let us discuss the poem. Uh, so, here we go. Let us continue. The poet looks at the cupboard. The poet looks at the cupboard on which there is a childhood 
photograph of her mother. She had gone for a sea holiday with a two, two of her cousins, namely Betty and Dory. So obviously there are three seen characters and one unseen character. So three, three characters are the mother of the poet is and the other two girl cousins. One is Betty, another one is Dory. While they were paddling, while they were paddling, their uncle took a photograph of them. Both of the cousins were holding the hands of her mother, who was the eldest among among the girls and who was placed placed in the middle of the photograph. This was before the poet was born, and this particularly happened when the poet's mother was only 12 years when the poet was not born. The time fled past since and all those who were in the photograph underwent changes while the sea remained the same. My dear children, this is the theme of the poem, the theme of the poem. So, <clears throat> what is the theme of the poem? The theme tells about the transient nature, transient means transient means a what? Very temporary. 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 Temporary nature of what? Human life. And eternal nature of what? Eternal nature of what? The forces of nature. What are the forces of nature? Like the, the sea, the river, the air, all these are things, all these things are eternal forces of nature. And these are very permanent, these are very eternal. These are these are evergreen. Now let us see that the next point. Our mother would look at the photograph after about 20 to 30 years and lot nostalgically. Nostalgia matlab what? So if you are looking back, if you are looking at the past with font memory, with the font memory, font memory, with the font memory, what you are doing? Looking at past. When you are looking at the past, past with the font memory, that is called the nostalgia. Means this become a nostalgia. Means after looking at this particular photograph of the mother in the company of the other two cousins, the poet is silent to and derived optimum pleasure. She derived, she derived pleasures from it. Then let us continue. Now for the poet, her mother's letter and the sea holiday is past. So now time has changed, time is not at all static, it is always continuously moving, okay, it never waits for your opportunity. Therefore, the mother, mother is no more now and only, only thing that actually remains is the memory. Either the laughter or the life of the mother or the mother is a thing of the past now. Let's see now. Her mother died about 12 years ago. About 12 years ago, the mother died. This 12 actually comes two times. In the beginning, beginning stranger, we can see the mother went to the sea, went to the sea or the beach when she was only 12 years and mother died mother died the mother of the, the poet is died and when this uh, particular poem was written it was uh, almost uh, 12 years ago that the mother mother was no more or the mother expired or the mother mother died the silence of the, the photograph silence the, the poet now see this is a very very interesting. The silence of the photograph. The photographer 
photograph cannot uh, cannot to talk so it is a suffering from it is a suffering from inertia it is it is a, it is a very static and it is a having no life and the, the silence of the, the photograph make the, the poet also very silent or disappointed or the poet is become very much sad after seeing the, the photograph of the, the mother which could not speak or share means the life of the, the mother become very dull monotonous and very much boring or very much very much uninteresting she experiences great loss my dear children now you will have to see this word or this word loss is a noun what is the verb form the verb form is l o s e u t the verb verb form then adjective form what is the adjective form adjective form is l o o s e this is the adjective there is a great loss in the, the business means is the noun then you will have to understand loss is l o s s he lost the position means lose this is the verb form in the present then past form will be l o s t lost so this little variation and the, the different meaning we will have to understand in order to understand or appreciate the either the, the poem or any any prose lesson any text any text it may be physics also it may be biology also therefore it is quite important my dear children i want to remain uh, i want to share one particular idea that uh, when you are you are particularly studying the, the poem what is needed is that when the, the poem is very short one you are to write the poem you are to write the text of the, the poem after that you are to maintain maintain the notebook in a beautiful manner what you need to do the manner in which i explained the poem in the same manner you are also to enter the data enter the the data or the question answer what meaning or the vocabulary about the about the biography of the author or the poet all this thing in a very systematic manner you are to write so first what you will do you will be writing about the poet then you will be talking about the objective of the poem means what we will understand after reading the, the poem okay that i will be telling you also after reading this uh, particular poem what we will uh, develop is we will be developing the empathy we will we will be developing the empathy e m p a p h y empathy means a being the shoe of other means means begin to feel begin to begin to feel like other person other person okay so in this similar manner you will have to in a very systematic manner you will have to write the note and after after the objective you will be writing the, the introduction to the summary and then you will be writing the extract of next question then you will be writing the textual question and answer and you will also be writing the poetic devices the poetic devices my dear children i i i suppose or i understand that in a class 10 level you might have learned some of the, the poetic devices like the, the simile the metaphor anecdote allegory images all this a thing very interesting very interesting and will be will also understand little more here in class 11 while we explain the, the points therefore without wasting our time let us proceed let us proceed now let us go for the explanation so let us see the, the first line line 1 to 4 let us see the card book shows me how it was how it was when the, the two girls cousin went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hand and she the big girl some 
12 years or so. Now, my dear children, so this is the starting or the beginning, beginning paragraph, opening paragraph. This is the opening, opening stanza, not the paragraph, but the stanza. This is the opening stanza. In the opening stanza, so we are introduced to two, some characters. So if I ask you the question, how many characters are there, then what will be your answer? Certainly, there are three sin characters. There are three sin characters. Who are they? They are the mother of the poets. Number one, the mother. And side by side, who are there? One is B, another one is D. One is the DT and another one is Dolly. Who was the who was Standing in the middle, it was the mother. Who was the bigger girl? It was the mother. What they were doing? They were paddling. What does a paddling means? Paddling means walking with short step. Paddling means what? Walking with short step. My dear children, this uh, paddling also may refer to W A D E weight. Do you know the, the meaning of the, the word what weight? Weight now we see in Assam and in other part other part parts of India, you have uh, noticed that there is a huge flood. And when there is a flood, still now the people are reeling under the rainwater or the flood. Now, when you are to do walk in the in the, the water, that is called wading. Walking in in the midst of water. In the water, that is called wading. That means when they went to the, the beach, then what they were doing? They were walking with a short stiff, or they were paddling, or they were wading. And this thing now, what we can notice from where? We can notice from the Cardboard. There is a cardboard which, uh, which is uh, holding, which is a photo frame. Cardboard is the photo, photo frame. Photo frame. And this uh, photo frame is uh, holding a photo or a snapshot. S N A S N A snapshot. Snapshot. So in the snapshot, what we can see? We can see three girls. With the bigger girl, it is the mother of the, the poet. What was the age of the, the of the, the mother of the poet? Is? It was 12. Means just one year before the teen, T double E and teen. So who accompanied the mother? The mother was the mother of the, the poet was accompanied by Betty and Dolly, who were the two girl cousins. And when they were, when they were Taking the, the photograph, what is the kind of the emotion? What is the kind of the emotion? Because the poem, poem always uh, talks about what emotions? Emotions or the feelings are very, very important. And these days uh, you will see, you can uh, notice in the book of education or the, the psychology that earlier IQ, IQ means intelligent quotient was a given more preference and these days EQ means emotional quittance is given a lot of importance. Means emotionally balanced person. A person should be emotionally balanced whether he is the father or mother, whether he is the teacher or the principal, everybody should have emotionally balanced. Have you got my dear children? Then let us go to the next line from five onwards. Here, move. Line number five to nine. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. Uncle with the camera. 
a sweet face a sweet face this is full stop here a sweet face my mothers my mothers that was a before i was born and the sea which appears to have changed lace washed their terribly transient feet terribly transient feet now when i when i read this particular line before going to the meaning of this lines some or the sound actually appeals to us what is the sound the sound is t sound t sound is repeated so when the, the consonant sound is repeated then what is the it called this called the alliteration this called the alliteration therefore my dear children you may be asked the question in the last last line of the first stanza the line is was the terribly transient feet what is the poetic device that is used what is the poetic device that is used here then you will have to mention that this is alliteration why this is alliteration because the consonant sound is repeated here what is the consonant sound the consonant sound t is repeated here and we'll get to know about a lot of things here in this in this lines so we can get to the theme of the poem 2 from this line from this line 7 8 9 theme of the the poem what is the the theme of the the poem as we have for discussed the theme of the poem is the transient nature of the feet transient nature of the feet now this the uh, feet actually stands for what the feet actually stands for the man or the women there is another po- another poetic device here my dear children say for example i am talking a few hands are needed to assist the work a few hands are needed to assist or help the work this hands here means what hands equal to men men that means when the part actually refers to or the hands actually refers to the men then the figure of the speech is called the sinek doki sinek doki so you'll have to remember that also uh, so let us uh, continue now so the theme of the, the poem here is the theme of the, the poem here is the permanent nature of the sea the sea river the mountain these are these are permanent thing these are the forces of nature and these are very much permanent in contrast we notice that human being life of the human being is very much transient transient means a very temporary means it is very temporal in nature temporal very short lived very short lived short lived so this is the thing it talks about the thing this uh, last two lines particularly talks about the theme of the poem all the stood still to smile to through their hair at the uncle with the camera so all the other three means the mother along with the two girl cousin betty and dolly they were looking through they are looking through their hairs because because it was it was a it was a it was a very windy in the open open Uh, open open sky open sky and when they were in the, the beach their hairs were waving they are waving and they could uh, see when the, the when the, the uncle was telling ready ready smile smile then they look uh, through their look through their hairs towards the uncle who was taking the photo 
Then the photograph is uh, taken. The uncle said, thank you. The photograph shows that the mother was only 12 years old and the mother was very beautiful. The mother was very beautiful. Means the face of the mother was very, very sweet. Very sweet. But after that, what happened slowly and gradually, the beauty becomes, beauty becomes or beauty fades. Beauty fades. Slowly and gradually, the beauty fades. And maybe this also may be the reason for which, for which the poet's mother laughs at the foot. And all these things happen. All these things happen before the poet was born, when the mother of the poet was only 12 years old. I suppose it is understood. Then let us come to the second stanza of the poem. So here we go to the second stanza of the poem. So here we proceed to the second stanza of the poem. Second stanza. So first we will see the three lines from line number 10 to 13. Some 20, 30 years later, some 20, 30 years later, should laugh at the, the snapshot. See, Betty and Dolly should see and look at how they the dressed us for the beach. Now, in this particular paragraph, in the second paragraph, we come to know the name or the title of these two girl cousins. One was Sabeti, one was Sabeti, and another one was Dolly. Dolly. And now, when did the time passed? After 20 or 30 years later, after the, pass, after the passage of 20 or 30 years, the mother of the, the poet is looked at the snapshot and then begin to laugh at. L A U G is laugh at. Laugh at means what? Mock at. Mock at. Mock at means what? Making fun of. Make fun of. Make fun of. So the question arises uh, why? Why did the why did the mother of the poet is laugh at the snapshot or the photograph? The answer is that this simple answer may be because of because of the special dress, the special dress that was that was made for them, the manner in which they were dressed for the particular occasion of the sea holiday. This also may be the region. Now, there may be another region also. What is that? The another region is that. As the time passes, now she could see that there is lot of changes in the, the appearance, in the, the beauty, the beauty of the, the poet is in the company of the, the in the company of the, of the, the girl cousin is a fading, is a fading. That means they are losing their beauty. That also makes the reason for the laughing of of or the, the poetess or making fun of the of the snatcher by the by the mother of the poetess. Now the, the poetess will come to the picture. The poetess will come to the picture and she will make a review of all this. And then she will tell that both of the thing, both the two things, one, the laughter of the mother, other, the sea holiday, both are the thing of the past and all these things are now rolled, rolled with what? The passage of the time. As time passes, two things have become the thing of the past, one is the mother's, mother's sea holiday, another one, the laughter of the mother of the, the poetess because the poetess mother was no more let us see now here we go 
line number 14 to 15. The sea holiday was her first. The sea holiday was the the sea holiday holiday was her past. Mine her laughter both rye with the lever is of loss. Lever is of loss. Rai means becoming sad. It may be rule or it may be disappointed too. Disappoint. Mean, means getting disappointed. Disappointed. Now two things have become the, the thing of the, the past. One is the laughter of the, the mother because the mother is no more. Another thing is the, the sea holiday that is the past for the mother's mother of the, the poetess and both of them both of them because of the, the passes because of the, the passes of the, the time because of the passing time both the things are the thing of the, the past and as a result as an effect the part is very much sad or disappointed sad or disappointed now let us come to come to this uh, meaning of uh, this uh, lines in this uh, line that the poet says that her mother used to used to consider consider the, the inroad to the, the past that she had left behind on the, the other hand other on the other hand let us continue let us continue here In this uh, line, let us uh, let me repeat. In this uh, line, the, the poet says that her mother used to consider the photograph as an inroad to the past. Means it is an inroad. It is an it is a particular passes to the past that she had left behind. On the other hand, the poet herself considered the memory of her mother, ma mother Lotter, as a relic of the past that that she missed every day. In both these cases, the memories of the, the past made these uh, two women very disappointed or unhappy. Let us continue. Let us uh, continue with the last angel. Here we go. Line number, line number 16. To now she had been dating nearly as many years as the girl lived and of the circumstance there is nothing to say at all if silence silences. Very interesting lines here. Now she has been dating nearly as many years as that girl lived. As that girl lived. Who is she here? Here she is the mother of the poetess. She is here the mother of the poetess. What happened to the mother? Mother of the poetess? She, she died. She died. And how many days? How many days that she died? Maybe, maybe after writing. Writing when when the poet was writing this particular poem, maybe twelve years back, twelve years back, the mother of the poetess she died. And of this circumstances, there is nothing to say. Of this circumstances, when somebody somebody actually gives the opportunity to speak on this particular occasion of the date of the date of the mother. And the past of the mother, then the poet is become so emotional, so emotional that she cannot speak anything. She cannot speak anything. She is she is a very much silent, and this silence speaks a volume, the volumes of her her attachment to the mother, her love for the mother, her missing of the laughter of the mother. 
her missing of the, the loving, caring, sharing mother, mother of huh? the poetess. And of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all. It silence, silences. Means everything is encircled by the silence. So only there is a fading memory. Memory also is going to fade as the time passes. Therefore, regarding this particular circumstances, one cannot say anything. One cannot say anything. Therefore, let us continue. So we see that the explanation of this particular. Okay. In this line that the poet says that her mother, her mother has been dead many years before. That is the same number of years that she was living. And about this, about this, she cannot tell about this particular circumstance, she cannot explain because, because she is, she is very much very much, uh, very much uh, affected. She is uh, very much uh, moved by, moved by the death of the, the mother, and this uh, death has silenced her, and this uh, silence has silenced everything regarding the, the life and death of the mother. My dear children, this is the end of the, the poem. I suppose you understood the poem, so now it is uh, better to. Explain some of the, the some of the lines here. Some of the questions we will be discussing. Some of the questions. <coughs> uh, so here we start the discussion. Discussion of the questions, and these are very common questions and this question may be very common to all the, the all the, the poems comment on the, the tone on the, the tone of the poem now if i ask you the, the question what may be the tone what may be the tone so it is an open ended questions okay it may be the open ended question means there may be there may be happiness there may be unhappiness there may be sorrows there may be happiness therefore it may be very light it may be very serious there is possibility that is called the open ended question so here the tone of the, the poem if we are talking about the, the tone of the, the poem normally the, the tone of the, the poet poem may be very light and another one may be very serious or very somber s o m b r e somber so here what is the tone the tone is the light or grief the tone is the light or very grief or serious it is it is let us see the answer the tone of the, the poem is that of a sadness. Means it is very serious or grave. If you write a serious, somber, grave, your answer will be exactly correct. Charlie Tolson to look at an old photograph of her mother and is reminded of her mother who is no more. She recalls to the moment when her mother was a 12 year old and she looked sweet and happy. As it is uh, the as it is the the relation with the past memory, therefore the past memory pertaining to the, the mother's demise or death is certainly very serious, not light or humorous, not light or humorous, humorous. It is very serious. Then let us uh, see the next question. What is the significance of the, the cardboard frame? This uh, word will be very frequently used. 
signify significance okay denote connote refer all these things that means you will have to take a, you will have to tell what the indirect meaning what does it implies what does it indirectly tells about therefore i will see the answer what will be the answer the cardboard frame or the photograph shows the lack of permanence of human life so i have understood it so when 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 the, the question is very simple one then the, the word significance will not be there so what will be the what will be the question like what does the cardboard show what does the cardboard show then you will be telling that the cardboard shows the photograph of the mother when the mother was only 12 years old now when the question is different like when the question is what does the cardboard frame signify then you will have to tell that the cardboard frame actually actually signifies the impermanence of or the transitory nature of human so my dear children i suppose you understood it so as far as the the promise made so the lesson is explained and now it is your job to write the question and answer and do the, the do the, the homework as usual and in the in times or in future all which are talking about the tips for learning better and learn understanding better and tips for memorizing also uh, so in future we will be sharing this and for today let me tell you that so as the pattern of the question in cbsc has underwent some changes therefore you will also have to see the mcq questions pertaining to all the chapters that we deal with therefore with this message let me conclude thanks to all we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a very good day